Hi and welcome to this video for the BTEC Applied Science Level 3 Unit 19. So this is another one of the practicals within the first assignment where what we'll be looking at doing is extracting copper from a brass uh, tack. So brass is a mixture of copper, zinc, sometimes some other materials within there. Copper reacts very readily though with oxidizing agents. So what we're going to be using is some concentrated nitric acid here and we'll form the copper nitrate and that's got a nice strong colour. Zinc nitrate's colourless so we can ignore that. Uh, be careful though, nitrogen dioxide is given off. You want to avoid that unless you want to die basically. So I know chemistry is sometimes classed as the depression session but it's a lot of paperwork if you do die in class so do it afterwards. So you'll weigh out your brass tack initially, um, we'll just make them a number and say it's 2 grams here. Yeah. The main part of it is obviously being able to make up your solution, so we want a calibration curve, same as you did in the first year. So it's filled in for us here, if it wasn't, just a case of between 0 and 0 0.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we want it in nice, clean, logical steps, so obviously 0 0.5 divided by 5 equals 0 0.1 so as we can see the 0 0.1 steps up there to give us a nice logical scale. Now we want to make up 10 cubic centimeter totals of all of these various concentrations here so obviously the maximum stock solution that we've made up is just 10 of the stock in zero water and obviously zero concentration is just pure water itself. So if I want to make up the 0.4 I do 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.5, which is my stock. And as we can see there, if we multiplied by 100, it's coming out at 80%. So what it's saying is I want 80% of my 10 cubic centimeters to be made from this stock, so i.e. 8, and then the remaining 20%, so 20% of 10, 2, is of water. And then we'd repeat this 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.5 times 100, 60%, 60% of 10, 6. And you can probably see the pattern that it's going to take down now. And likewise on the other side, building it up with water in there. So we've made up our stock chemicals here. And then it's just a case of putting them through the colorimeter again. Uh, I'm just going to make up random numbers. Um, so hopefully, you know, you can see fairly logical increase in the absorbance up there. Again, theory of it, the more coloured something is, the higher the concentration and the higher the absorbance you should be reading. Now you'll get an unknown sample, it's a case of putting the unknown through the colorimeter. So we'll say we got an absorbent of 1.10 for that. Plot a graph, absorbent, y-axis versus concentration on the x-axis. So it should look something like that. You'd plot your point, so obviously zero for zero concentration. And hopefully you get a nice line of best fit in there. If they're a little bit below, above and a little bit below, it's fine. But generally you want it following. If not, repeat certain points of them. If, say, you've got an anomalous reading where that was 0 0.3, 9.3 and coming out pretty much exactly the same as the concentration below it then I would say that is likely wrong and repeat it and hopefully get a value that more fits in step with it. So then once we've got our calibration curve sorted what you'll do is you'll take your unknown absorbent reading so I'll say 1.10 is roughly about there you read across until it hits the line read down concentration where it hits there that is what you would record here so as we can see it's going to be roughly 
um, 0.37-ish, we'll say in my case. And that would be our concentration there. Now, calculations that follow on from it. To use an equation, n equals cv, calculate the number of moles present in your sample. So for this, we need to get the concentration, which we've just worked out up there. So n equals 0 0.37 times. Now, what volume did we have? So if we look back up, we took 5 um, of the nitric acid here. We added 35 water. So the number of moles was spread over the 40 cubic centimetres. Because we were taking various parts of that. So calculator for this. So obviously your numbers will be slightly different, but general n equals CV there. Now using the equation moles equals mass over m, uh, AR, since I'm just going to be looking at the copper, um, calculate the mass present in your sample. All right, so we need to rearrange this equation. So instead of moles equals mass over AR, we are going to have mass equals moles times we are got the moles up here and copper is 63.5 now using the mass of the tack so what did I say ours was? I just picked two grams. So using the mass of attack in your answer here, calculate the percentage by mass of copper and the brass tack. Right, so 0 0.9398 divided by 2 times 100. So 46.99% there. And that is done. Thank you.